Hello everyone, it's me, Choi Boy. And today we're going to be talking about how my 2020 went. Uh, we'll probably just, we'll probably, you know, talk about the three goals I had that I made a video about earlier this year, probably in January. I think I know why they're called dreams, because you never really get to most of them. Like, let's, let's get the poster note. So, I think I had three... Is this three? So I think I had three main ones. One was to lose weight. Seriously? <laughs> Another one was to do some investments. That I did. I did do quite well in my investments this year and my YouTube channel for investments has been doing really well. Thank you everyone who has subscribed to the channel, it really does help. But yeah, I think the third one was me traveling more, like got a career at the end of this year. So right now I should have been like looking into going to Korea. Obviously COVID-19 happened. Wish I knew about it a bit earlier, but yeah. So a lot of the traveling stuff really hasn't happened. I mean, I went down to Queenstown and I went to Coromandel this year. But that's pretty much all the traveling I did this year. So, yeah. Bye bye 2020. You know, I, I really care about my K-beauty. So I got myself a mud mask. Mud pack, whatever you call it. It's doing pretty good. Okay, uh, let me just take this off and become normal. Wow. So it's probably the same with all of you. 2020 was quite a weird year or so. Out of nowhere, COVID-19 happened. We went into like level four lockdown, level three lockdown-ish. You know, like a lot of things happened. And even personally as well, I changed my company this year. You know, I wasn't at um, my previous place for too long, but it just didn't last that long. A lot of things changed with COVID-19. Yeah, that was one of the biggest things. I came back to my old company, so having a lot of fun back here, it's, it's pretty good. 2020 triggered a lot of things for me. Like, I started to question my own life a lot. I was hitting like that quarter life crisis, you know. I was questioning everything I did. What is the meaning of life? What am I making money for? You know, sure, I can make money for a house, uh, for a car, but what does that mean? Like, what What after that? Like, it's not that fun anymore. Like, the motivation's not there. The purpose is suddenly meaningless. A lot of things really, really changed mentally as well. See, like, it got to my head again. You, you see my curly hair again, you know. I perm my hair every time I'm depressed or, like, sad. And I need to like hide my broken inner self with this bright curly hair that makes me look happy and optimistic and like a nice guy. <laughs> don't believe what you see. I still remember, I don't know who said it, but someone said I look like a ajumma that sells bulgogi. Whoever said that before, I wreck you. I bought myself a new digital keyboard. It's gonna be really fun, you know, when I'm bored during the night and I just wanna you know, learn a piece or something like that. I got all my favorite pieces inside this file here, this folder, and yeah, it's been doing pretty well. Let me show you something. Anyways, for everyone who made it through 2020, you're an awesome person. I know it was hard for everyone and I think most of the people I know went for it quite fine. Even though it triggered kind of like a depression for me and like a quarter life crisis. There was a few other happenings personally as well. I won't talk about those but just things I didn't think that would happen in 2020 happened. And that itself is what life is all about. Unexpected events that just change your life like that. So I hope 2021 stabilizes just a bit. It was a bit too dynamic this year. It was just really confusing for me. Don't know what I'm doing with my life. Don't know what I'm doing 
in general. <laughs> yeah, and I still have someone in my head. That's like a hint of one of the personal things that I don't want to go into too much detail about. But uh, hopefully 2021 could be a better year for me. And a better year for all of you as well. And I want to start traveling again. So hopefully the borders open soon. And hopefully the vaccine also works out to be fine. Thanks for watching today as well. Not a long video once again. But yeah, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Put a comment down below what you thought. Subscribe to the channel, put the bell notification on for my next updates. I will be making new videos soon. I don't know if I'm going to be putting it in this channel or another new channel. So I think Jun wants to start making some meme content again. So we got some things in mind. It might be quite interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to actually happen, but it seems like Jun's pretty keen. So for people who don't know who Jun is, um, Jun is my friend that um, appeared in my Aussie vlogs back like two years ago so if you haven't watched my Aussie vlogs you know from back two years ago go watch it it's in a playlist but also if you go straight to the bottom it's kind of like there and you will see like a bunch of Gold Coast and Sydney kind of vlogs and he just comes up and he's a pretty good vlogger I have to say he's pretty interesting he just makes things a bit memey but it's good fun to watch as well I do watch my own videos especially his ones every now and then when I'm feeling sad and lonely it does cheer me up a bit so go check that out as well you all have a good night and I will see you in the next video bye